Hi everybody, I'm Jack. This is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Well, it's Thursday here when I'm shooting this on the mountain in Costa Rica and I'm going to try to knock out several videos today and get ahead a little bit. I'm trying to get ahead for my trip down to the beach next week. Um, I'm not sure exactly when this is coming out, but I will be going, going to the beach Monday the 13th. So, um, you know, guys, follow me along. Um, I'll make some videos down there. Uh, for sure, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you can find me, Raw Tropical Living, on Instagram, and I'll do the stories from down there a good bit. Um, anyhow, just wanted to talk about raw vegan weight loss today and um, throw out a few tips and tricks. Um, this is one of those subjects that there's just so much BS out there about them that I just feel like I need to talk to, about them often and from time to time. So anyhow, I do these type of videos every day. So if you're here for the first time, I would uh, love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and come back for more. And when you hit that subscribe button, uh, click on the little bell and check send notifications so you will stay subscribed to the, um, to the channel. Um, you know, People are so stuck within the constraints of their mind when it comes to the subject of weight loss. Even people that I know, even people that I'm friends with, even people that watch my videos, they will say things to me and it's just like they're still, and it's a psychology that it's hard to let go of. I understand it's like programming, it's like anything else. Most people have experienced a lifetime of a different mentality and way of trying to lose weight. You know, whether it's, uh, it's about restricting um, the Weight Watchers diets, the Jenny Craig diets, the Atkin diets. Um, they're all, um, you know, they have their thing. They're, they're, they're all about restricting, most of them. And a lot of them have some very horrid foods in there. And pretty much, um, except for the odd person here and there, there's generally not long-term success on there. Um, one thing I always want to say is avoid gimmicks. Avoid gimmicks. And even with this, in this raw vegan lifestyle, I see too much stuff that is kind of gimmicky. When I see anything, it just makes me think of ads, you know, ads pop into my head. When people talk about, um, you know, raw vegan weight loss, lose a pound a day, lose 20 pounds in a month, lose 25 pounds in a month. And I'm not saying, depending on how big somebody is, is that that's not an impossibility, especially in the beginning when someone is very obese to lose a large amount, but those don't sustain, they're not the norm, and I think they just uh, create false expectations for a lot of people, and false expectations lead to um, disappointment. And disappointment just throws people into this whole cycle of you know of guilt and then they binge and then they add on more weight and then they do something desperate to try to take it off it's always about desperation and in being in a hurry um, I, and I just can't stress enough I'd say this over and over and over and over you didn't get like you didn't get into whatever condition you were in overnight um, whether it's being overweight, whether it's obese, whether it's a health issue of some sort, you didn't get into the state that you're in overnight and you're not going to get out of it overnight. Anything, anybody promising you something overnight very quick, it's just a, get, it's just a quick fix, but it's not going to be long lasting. Um, you know, I've talked about this many times before. Um, okay, like I say, I, I don't, I'm not a, obviously I'm not a weight loss specialist, I'm not Mr. Science, I don't know all the inner workings of the body, so I can't explain things. There's certain things like, okay, I think this is the way it works, I can't tell you exactly why. For some reason, you know, in general, I don't like to see people lose big amounts of weight really quick. Um, generally, you know, that to me, that leads to kind of a flabbiness, that soft look, um, loose skin, slackness, um, whatever. Now, like I just said a minute ago, there's some sort of chemistry going on there. When somebody is really obese, morbidly obese, maybe the body is eating, you know, is using different things as fuels in a different way. That's over my head. But, okay, I do see the purpose there. I, I, and I see a lot of people that are, say, 100 pounds or more overweight that yes, in their first month, maybe they drop 20 pounds, maybe they even drop more. Um, and that's okay, I'm just saying is like, wouldn't wanna see like big, big chunks of this being dropped long term. In other words, I think if somebody was averaging, say losing 25 pounds a month for 
three or four or five months at a time, you know, that's just too rapid. And I think probably they're going to find themselves with a lot of loose skin when they get that weight going and whatever. I've always said before, anywhere, you know, I know one pound sounds just like you're inching along snail-like, but uh, anywhere from one pound to two pounds a week is a good healthy rate. Um, and, you know, it adds up, it adds up, it adds up. Don't be impatient. Two pounds a week, that's eight pounds a month. Hell, that's, okay, let's even go out further. Over the course of the year, that would be a um, hundred pounds. Um, another thing too, when I talk about the gimmicky stuff, and like I say, you know, I don't, um, I don't throw those under the bus completely, but once again, let's go back to fasting, uh, feasting, juice feasting, cleanses. I, listen, I'm not, I think people kind of take, like to take little knit bits and nuggets here and there. I'm not against those things. I'm not like just closed off like those things are bad across the board. I, I freely admit they have their purposes um, in our health and in, in the healing of the body. But I don't like that approach for weight loss simply because of this. Yes, and people will tell me all this, well, you can do this and do this, blah, blah, blah. And people will tell me they lost weight. I, I totally believe you. I'm not saying you can't lose weight with a juice feast, a fast, or a cleanse. What I'm saying, though, is, is you can't juice feast for the rest of your life. You can't fast for the rest of your life. You can't cleanse for the rest of your life. Um, it's not going to do you any good if you do one of these juice feasts and say you lose 10, 12 pounds doing a juice feast. Okay, good. Maybe that's a little bonus. Maybe that's a little ju jump start. But it isn't going to do you any good if that's all it was. You just got the weight loss out of that juice feast, didn't change your mentality on how to eat, and you just go right back to eating, and then that weight inches right back up, and then you'll be telling us how you need to do another juice feast and how it always, how it always works. Well, yeah, it'll work for a little bit. It'll help you get 10 or 15 pounds off in, in one time, but you can't live on that. You, at some point, some point, I say over and over, you've got to learn how to eat on this lifestyle. You've got to learn how just to eat day to day. You can't be jumping from doing this one day to this this week. I have whole weeks at a time that, you know, I'm not saying I'm eating the same exact things every day, but pretty much the way I'm eating is the same for months and months and months at a time, you know, as far as how much fat, how much fruit, how much greens, whatever that I'm taking into my body. Um, so it has to be something that's, uh, that's sustainable. sustainable. Um, don't, don't compare yourself to other people. I see that, that's the biggest problem so many people out there make and that is just, um, that's just folly. I mean, that's just about the most ridiculous thing in the world. Um, you know, everybody's body works just a little bit differently. You can compare yourself, like I say, there's fine lines to walk there. Everybody's body works differently not drastically differently, but it, when it comes to weight loss, there's little idiosyncrasies and little things that, you know, your experience is just not going to be the same as everybody else's. And I'm coming to under, like learn more about this and understand more about this and be a little bit more empathetic to it because I'm one of those people, I'm skeptical when people are telling me, well, I can't lose weight, I can't lose weight, I can't do this and that. I'm always skeptical. I'm always saying, well, you've got, I'm, my first thought is there's something hidden there that you're not telling me. Maybe something hidden there that you don't even know, but you're fooling yourself. Um, that, was, that used to be my thinking. Then I started seeing people that I actually knew, that I trusted what they were saying. I knew they were telling me the truth and they had different results. So I'm like, okay, I take it into account a little bit more. Um, Melissa. Melissa talks, Melissa's Raw Food Romance, she's talked about in her, her story a number of times in her videos about how she just stalled out. You know, she wasn't at the weight she wanted to be. She had a bit more, a good bit more to lose, but she stalled out for a while. She didn't freak out. She didn't really, you know, bounce back and forth and change what she was doing. She just stayed the course because she, she knew what she was doing. Um, and she was confident in it and she knew that her body would figure it out and she'd lose the weight. She stalled, she kept doing what she was doing and eventually she got down to the weight that she wanted to be. My guest that was here recently had that same sort of experience. So you can't compare yourself to other people. Your experience is gonna be your unique experience. Uh, what else, what else, what else? 
Um, just relax and enjoy this lifestyle. You know, I had down there um, stress. Stress will help you, will, um, will cause you to hold on to fat. There's hormones and chemicals and stuff, and don't even get me started. There's no way I'm gonna explain that. You can look it up, you can do some searches, but yes, yeah, stress will keep you from losing that little bit of fat around the belly. So when you're constantly you know, stressing all the time about what you're eating, um, you're, you're sort of defeating um, the purpose right there. Um, and as I'll always say, there's always, there's generally, and this one just kind of comes into every weight loss video that I talk about, there's generally culprits that are sabotaging your weight loss that you're just not aware about or that you don't want to see or most of the time though it's just because you don't keep a journal. You know, when you write everything down you see what's there and a lot of times it is the fat, you know, the I, I see so many times and I'm not, I don't, I don't reach out, like I'm kind of one of these type people it's not just everybody won't say well I don't judge I don't judge I don't judge either but I like to deconstruct what other people do so a lot of times I'm I, I observe people I'm kind of uh, following along on their stories or whatever and yeah I mean I know I know right there I know um, there's something that they're not that they're not telling you I know that there's something um, that they're maybe not even aware of themselves like they're not aware of how much fat they're taking in you know, if you're not really on top of, um, if you don't use chronometer and you're not really good at calories, like sometimes people I think don't realize how many calories they're taking in through nuts and the various forms of fat that they're taking in at different times in the day. That fat a lot of times, like so many times, that's gonna be the culprit in there. You're gonna find out if you're not losing weight on this lifestyle or if you're even gaining weight on this lifestyle, there's a good chance that your fat percentage levels are higher than you think. Same with the sodium, same with the processed food. Those three right there are like, they're gonna keep that weight on you. Like high fat, sodium, salt, processed food. So those are three little things you might wanna look for and just see, you know, hey, how am I doing on these? But um, in the end, it's, it's all about the health. This isn't anything, this is just the same old boring message I talk about all the time, it's like, Focus on the health and the weight works itself out. That's just something though nobody's, people that are, uh, I think once pers a person is above a certain amount of pounds overweight, they just can't hear that. They just can't sit back and ease into the, the dare I say, right way of doing this lifestyle in a patient manner and not being so, oh my God, oh my God, I'm fat. I've got to get this weight off really quick, really quick, really quick. You know, it's, unless, you're gonna be around for a long time. What's the hurry? Anyhow, just my, old, my thoughts on this. Um, if you like this one, please give me a thumbs up and I hope you guys will be back tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.